The malnutrition cases in the Kavanko East region was on its peak last year, with 2,716 people affected with 30 mortality recorded. This year, 15 mortalities were recorded with about 14,000 people affected by malnutrition. Kavanko East Health Director Ida Mandai says cases of malnutrition is as a result of inconsistency in therapeutic food supply as well as lack of refresher training for the health care workers and community care workers on management of malnutrition. The director added that the most concerning contributing factor is a lack of malnutrition education for young mothers. I think as a region what we are seeing is a trend where we see a lot of our um, um, older parents, uh, grandmothers of these teenage young people who give birth and then they leave these children under the care of the older persons and when it comes to care it becomes a challenge. They leave them then they go in these phases of malnutrition and so on. Um, and this is one thing which we are really advocating for with other stakeholders in the region to ensure that we really raise awareness uh, alongside our community to ensure that these uh, mothers, these young mothers are educated on how to take care of these young ones. HIV patients and pregnant women are among those affected by malnutrition. Mendai added that to mitigate malnutrition, community awareness should be a must. Reduction of poverty. Poverty should not be the face of Namibia. Uh, and most of these things are uh, symptoms of poverty. Um, and also climate change is behind us and so many. But we have to plan. We have to get at least water. Water to the people. Please, poor homes as much as possible. So we are not from the Ministry of Agriculture, mm -hmm. but we relay your, your your message to them to say, please, the people in Kamako East, they need water. Either from um, putting some pipes one kilometer away from um, from Kamango to make sure that you know these pipes underground is carrying water to the gardens to the people. So things like that. This is the message that we will take. Dr. Njode Ojo says the data collected will be tabled in Parliament for further deliberation.